hi guys so um we're gonna do a quick skin uh moisturizing session uh just get off the bath wash my face sorry it's like a little bit residue of the gel in my hair uh usually what i do is let's take this i use the ultra toner from kills it's amazing i actually really like it people use it with like cotton pad i like to feel the product uh in my hand so i just go ahead you want to see the product that i put looks weird i know <laughs> but i just go over the face up This is what I do with my toner. I mean, everybody has their own technique because we all have different face and need. And I let it dry a little bit. I always apply on my hand to, to just, you know, let it dry. Usually you use a little towel, but we can do is just our hand then um, I proceed you know I like it if you follow me on Instagram which you should uh, this is my go-to the little Veleda skin food cream is the best I know some people are gonna say that it's like super greasy but um, it's just the bomb like I, I have a subscription to them because literally when I don't want to put makeup but I still want my skin you know to look healthy it's really white and thick but you literally feel that your skin is getting all the need she was looking for especially after the bath because i feel like new york water apparently is good to drink it but for your skin it's not doing the best so sorry for the weird face <laughs> but a girls need to do what she gotta do Woo. To be cute with this like non makeup things because it's still quarantine time um so yeah i'm sorry for this like little residue but i just put you know my edge control should i put a scarf so you don't think that my hair are nasty because i see you behind your screen like judging me it's okay uh then i need like this rose hemp oil it's really good for like acne dry skin um eczema that's what i use yeah baby girl you go even if you have an oily skin i always recommend put oil i really believe in the power of the oil and people tend to think that when you have acne, you should not put oil, but actually it helps a lot. I can't wait for outside to be open so I can get like real facial instead of doing it at home by myself. Never forget the hand. You see the glow? Yes, darling. <laughs> And I know you're going to be like, well, I don't want to go outside like that. But trust me, by the time you leave your bathroom and you go outside, you're going to be good. And I know it's hot and thing, but because it's hot and right now the humidity in New York is like super crazy. You do want to like put the right amount of of oil yeah um my little aquaphor for the lips 
because people tend to forget but you need to hydrate hydrate hydration hydration hydrate les lèvres <laughs> you know i like to feel like moisturized so even if i'm, I'm gonna look like a, a glazed donut or a beignet whatever you like uh yeah i think it's good then um that's what i do for like a natural glow super fast uh we're not done we're not done um i have little like dark spots and um what are you which one is this one this one is like the foundation i know sorry for the dirty look but you know at least i prove you that i use my product uh for black radiance so i dab a little bit of this and you see here you don't want to make it like so that's why people always ask me like if i put full foundation on my face i do not i do not actually because it's too much and you still need your your face to breathe. I had some little dark spot because I got extremely stressed out by the fact that I have to go back to work. I mean, I know it's only, yeah, I do the mustache because I haven't like fixed it in a while, but we do it. Um, Cause that was my concealer concealer foundation right i still in the black regions i like them because it don't don't oh it doesn't give you like oh sorry guys little like comedon comedon you know the little pimple that you don't want to have when you use makeup uh let's switch the brush let's take that one so we do a really really a non-makeup situation out here and I try to make it as fast as I can I mean usually that's what I do but this is just to like you know and you still want people to see the imperfection and that's the beauty of the makeup non-makeup it's just you really fix the bad stuff because nobody is perfect, of course, nobody, even me, but, and I like to leave my eyebrows, like, undone. You always have to let it set by the mustache, because, because, you know, it penetrates well. And then people are always like, oh my God, like, your skin is so radiant. Yeah. I don't even think, ah, let's put it. My magic trick is my shiny oil. I like a bright skin. Like, it's flawless. A little bit slightly oily. Um, CYO. I love that brand. You find it at Dwayne Reed. It's amazing. Um, I think this one was like six dollars. It's just super cute. Yes, darling. So you take it. I hope I have my brush ready, so it's not a disaster. Yes. Do I do that every morning? Oh, most of the time. If the kids let me be great. You don't want to really put it on your nose because then like it's shiny but you know I think it's cute I need to fix this that's the problem that I don't like with like edge control is like if you don't spend the time really applying it then it looks nasty so very excuse me if you see that it's not so
super clean but I'm gonna put my little wrap uh, should we put a little bit of blush I don't know I don't even know where's my blush to be honest oh it's here That's really my go-to natural look. I don't even bother putting mascara. Because well, nobody has time for this. Especially when the kids are looking after you. But, you know, I think it's a, it's a good look. Let me know what you think. <laughs> But a bitch is ready to go pick up her kids. I do this usually in the morning, but um, you can do it anytime uh, after your shower. But uh, the glow is real. So I hope you like that on um, this little tutorial, non tutorial. Uh, let me know what you think. Maybe I should do the eyebrows a little bit. I think the eyebrows are fine. Yeah, I think they're fine. Voilà, voilà, bisous, bye bye. <laughs>